can almost see it, that dream I'm dreaming, but there's a voice inside my head saying, you'll never reach it, every step I'm taking, every move I make feels lost with no direction, my faith is shaking, but I Gotta keep trying, gotta keep my head held high. So it's gonna be another mountain. I'm always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes we're gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. I'd like to ask everyone to bow their heads for a prayer. Dear Lord, we come to you today to thank you for the opportunities, blessings, and memories you have given us the last four years. I pray today for you to continue these blessings for all of us in the next stages of our lives. In your name we pray, amen. Family, friends, faculty, and my fellow graduates, I would like you to welcome you to the Pigeon Forge High School Class of 2022 graduation ceremony. 
Thank you to everyone in attendance to celebrate this graduating class. Thank you to ev congratulations to the class of 2022. We finally made it to the biggest day of our lives. With COVID, we missed almost an entire year of high school, but we were able to make it up that time for making our senior year one to remember. I would like to thank all of my fellow classmates for making the past four years the best years of my life that I will always cherish. Coach Mosley, thank you to, for always pushing me to strive to be the best I can be, not only in soccer, but in life. To Mr. Bohannon, thank you for helping me through a very stressful senior year, and I'm sure myself and all of my fellow graduates will forever be grateful for you. I would like to thank my mentor, Dr. Timothy Smith, for helping me strive at what I want to do for the rest of my life. To all of my family, thank you for always wanting the best for me, protecting me through the years, and loving me unconditionally. Thank you to all of the teachers over the years that have made such an impact in my life and have helped me strive through high school. Lastly, and most importantly, to my mom and dad, thank you for being the best parents I could have asked for and for helping me become the young woman I've grown to be. As the speech comes to an end, I would like to say something to the graduates sitting in front of me this evening. We are all on to the next chapter of our lives. As many of us have heard over the years, after you graduate, you're going into the real world. We're now on our own. We won't have parents with us when we go off to college. We will have to create a new life for ourselves. I am grateful to have walked the halls and have celebrated all of these milestones with each and every one of you. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2022. I would now like to introduce the valedictorians for the class of 2022. Before I commence my speech, I would like to say a few words in Arabic. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi al-Tayyibin al-Tahirin. Hi, my name is Zainab Abar Kweba. I'd first like to thank Dr. Kleibo for giving me the honor of being here today. Now, throughout my whole high school career, I've had many goals, but really only one driving force, to make my mother proud. I studied hard and took more classes than I could handle, this brings me to thank my wonderful teachers. So thank you for your hard work and allow me to achieve my goal. I'd also like to thank a very special and dear person, Dr. Husky, who not only ta taught me the difference between a comma and a semicolon, but an important life lessons I will forever cherish. I would also like to thank my amazing friends, Mariah, Chloe, Carolyn, Madison, and Leslie. We've created wonderful memories together that I will never forget. You are all there for me through my ups and downs, and I hope to continue moving up with you all. So thank you for sticking with me and making high school more tolerable. But did I struggle? Of course I did. But the idea of my mom seeing me give the speech to you allowed me to strive harder. My parents left their native home with nothing but the clothes on their back. They did this to give my brothers and I the numerous opportunities America had to offer. So last, but certainly not least, I would like to thank my incredible parents. Mama and Baba, there will never be enough words to express how thankful I am to you and all you've done for me. I hope I made you proud today. Thank you. Go Tigers. The definition of this phrase is still unknown because if you make a good grade, go Tigers. If something bad happens, throw out a good go Tigers to lighten the mood. Nevertheless, Go Tigers is something that all of the students at Pigeon Forge High School hear at least 73 times a day. Whether that is from Dr. Claybo, which I'm pretty sure invented the phrase itself, or from the other 700 people in the building that say it at least 46 times a day. However, Go Tigers is more than a phrase, and this is because all of the teachers, guidance counselors, administration, and coaches that make Go Tigers mean something more than just a Dr. Claybo quote. So to all of the staff members at Pigeon Forge High School, 
thank you for making a positive impact on my life and making me want to pursue a career in education. Next, I would like to thank my mother and father. Thank you for guiding me through the first 18 years of my life and doing the best you could possibly do, no matter what needed to be done. Thank you to my brother for teaching me how to handle tough situations. To my Nana and Papa, thank you for always supporting me, no matter what. And to all my friends, thank you for a more than memorable high school career, sometimes more than I asked for. However, between the near-death experiences, I made the best friends I could have possibly hoped for. I would also like to thank God for allowing us to survive those experiences, and to that I say, go Tigers. I would also like to thank God for the guidance throughout the, these past four years, and also for all the good times we enjoyed throughout them. To all of my fellow seniors, we made it. We made it through all 12 years. All together, we spent about 15,120 hours each for this day and this piece of paper. So to all of us, I say congratulations and go Tigers. Good afternoon, my name is Zoe Brawley. It's hard to believe that we are graduating and I'm super thankful to be able to stand up here today and represent Pridgen Forge High School as a valedictorian. First thing I would like to say is thank you to my family for always believing in me. In 2 Timothy 4.17, it says, the Lord stood by me and gave me strength. I would like to say thank you to all of the staff here at Pigeon Forge High School, but I'd specifically like to thank a few people. First and foremost, thank you, Mr. Bohannon, for always helping me with any questions that I have and letting me come into your office and annoy you. Ms. Stokes, for always letting me come get snacks and spilling tea with me. Ms. Russell, thank you for always making sure I am prepared any time I've had to sing or put on a performance. Lastly, Ms. Jones, I'm not even sure where to start. If anyone knows me, they know how much Ms. Jones, Ms. Jones means to me. Thank you for always believing in me and being the best of the best. I'm so glad that I was given the opportunity to have taken all of your classes and was able to be your teacher assistant for two classes this semester. Next, I would like to thank all of my friends that have supported me and made my high school experience unforgettable. And I'd like to pick out two of my friends. Abby, thank you for always being there for me to the account, countless amounts of duets, sleepovers, Cancun and cruise farm runs. Thank you. Cameron, we've been attached to the hip since second grade. To all of the TikToks we've made, whew, sorry. <laughs> and finally, someone that I have found that is as loud as I am. Thank you guys for always putting up with me and putting a smile on my face. In 1 Timothy 4.12, it says, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to, to all believes in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. This verse means a lot to me because if anyone knows what I've been through, they would understand how hard it has been for me to get up here today. One thing that I will reflect upon as I throw my graduation cap in the air is the way that Pigeon Forge High School has been my home away from home for the past few years. During the time here at Pigeon Forge High School, we have all met, met, we have all met so many new people, made lasting friendships, and lived through lifelong memories. I'm sure you can agree that waking up on Monday morning was never an easy task, but as we all begin our next chapter, I have no doubt that everyone here is going to do remarkable things. Thank you all, and as Dr. Kleba would say, go Tigers. Oh God, okay. Hi, I'm Madison Nicole Smith. And I'm Madison Nicole Kleba. After 12 long years, and a million breakdowns later, we finally made it. These past four years have been some of the best and worst times of our lives, but nonetheless, we still got through it. We want to say thank you to Mom, Mom Dad, Dad, Trinity and Lexi, Matt and Michaela, Jamie and Kaylee, and every other friend and family member who's made this journey possible. In the world-famous movie Kung Fu Panda, Master Ugawe once said, you are too concerned with what was and what will be. Remember the saying, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Every morning we wake up never knowing today's going to be the worst or best day of our lives. It just happens. And life loves to knock you down and break you apart at the most inconvenient times. Right when you think you've got it all figured out, the world looks at you and goes, mm, I think you could handle a little bit more. And although it may seem like the easiest thing to do, crying in your room by yourself doesn't fix anything. Nor does giving yourself bangs with a kitchen knife. You cannot worry about the things you cannot change. But you can treat every day as the precious gift it is. 
And to appreciate every day, you must understand that all of the flaws and imperfections of the world is what makes life so exciting. No one is perfect. Even though we are being recognized tonight as the top of our class, we still have our own downfalls. For instance, I never learned where all of the states are. I still don't know how to spell valedictorian. And it wasn't until just recently that I learned that when bears go into hibernation, they don't actually go to sleep for three months. However, one thing we did learn is YOLO. YOLO. You only live once. So do what makes you happy. Stop caring about what others think, because once you're gone, that's it. You get one life on this earth, live it. Go take that cruise around the world. Go play darts. Join basketball your senior year. Wear a bald cap and dress up like your dad for spirit week. Go have fun. So thank you to Pigeon Forge for all the amazing memories you've given us. And to the class of 2022, here's to an unforgettable past and an unpredictable future. Mad, Mad Dogs, Dogs out. out. In the words of Shakespeare, we know what we are, but know not what we may be. As of today, we have accomplished one of the major early milestones in our life, high school graduation. We begin the next chapter with a clean state, able to form, mold ourselves into whatever we have dreamed of becoming. All of our blood, sweat, and tears from the last four years have all been for this moment, what will be the beginning of the rest of our lives. Over time, we've learned many things, such as the Pythagorean theorem, Sokotoa, and some things as simple as basic math. But I believe, and I think everyone can agree, we're gonna forget most of those countless hours of homework and sleepless nights worrying about if we studied enough to pass the exam. Of course, we'll take the knowledge we have gained with us, but what we're gonna remember the most is the friendships we have made and the accomplishments that we have achieved and all of the wonderful teachers and staff that has helped us to get to where we are now. This most likely will be our last hurrah as a graduating class of 2022 at Pigeon Forge High School, but as we close this door, another one opens for us. It's up to us who we decide to become, and one thing is for sure, we will all be, always be a tiger for life. Thank you. Good afternoon. It is a huge honor to be standing here today as one of the Pigeon Forge High School valedictorians of my class. As I think of my high school career, the word wisdom comes to mind. Wisdom. Wisdom is the product of having experience and knowledge. Thank you to all the teachers who have helped us to gain knowledge. The knowledge that you have passed on to us has greatly prepared us for life, such as the great dating advice to which Ms. Russell has given us and the, all the stories Ms. Loveday shared with us. We can't forget Mr. Henniger's chemistry class. We learned how not to play with fire. When I think about my experiences in high school, it made me think back to one of my favorite childhood books, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? As a high schooler, you see a lot of things. This is my poem based on that book. Tigers, tigers, what did we see? We saw Miss Loveday looking at me. Tigers, tigers, what did we see? we saw Mr. Baldwin's honeybees. Tigers, tigers, what did we see? We saw Miss Kathy coming for me. Tigers, tigers, what did we see? We saw Miss Morgan calling for me. Tigers, tigers, what did we see? We saw Miss Nave tardy sweeping me. Tigers, tigers, what did we see? A lot of fun memories looking back at me. With all the knowledge that we have gained and the experiences we have had, we now have the wisdom and are ready for the next chapter in our book. Class of 2022, what will you see? Always remember to do your very best and God will do the rest. Go Tigers. Hello and good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2022. It is an honor to be standing here alongside my classmates as a valedictorian. Getting to this point has not been without struggle. It took a lot of hard work and dedication for us to get where we are today. The past four years, we have been preparing for this day. None of us thought it could come any sooner, but now here we are, and in reality, it has flown by. Today is the day we all depart on our separate journeys. But before we do, I would like to say thank you to the teachers and staff for encouraging us to strive for the best. You all have helped shape us into the people you see today, and I can say in total confidence that without you, we would have become very different. Your support has been everything to us. I cannot conclude without thanking my parents for all of the love and support you have given me. Without you, I wouldn't be standing here today. Thank you.
Class of 2022, it is hard to believe we are here today. I still remember the very first day of high school and being terrified of all the new things that would be coming my way. I had absolutely no idea what to expect other than what High School Musical had taught me, which was that the next four years would be the best four years of my life. As my first day of freshman year went on, my friends and I were discussing in our third block class about how these next few years would be the best four years of our lives. Our Latin teacher happened to overhear us and told us that if these next four years were the best years of our lives, then that would be incredibly sad. I remember looking at this teacher and thinking, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Little did I know how right he was. These past four years have been the worst and best times of my life so far. I have laughed a countless amount of times, I've shed an ungodly amount of tears, and I've learned an infinite amount of life lessons that I plan to carry with me for the rest of my life. I could go on and on about all the things I've learned, but I don't want to bore you all. So I'm going to tell you what I think is the most important life lesson I have learned. The most important life lesson I have learned is that things turn out best for the people who make the best out of their situation. Class of 2022, we are about to be released into the real world, where we will be faced with real life situations. We will face heartbreak and failure. Do not take no for an answer. Do not let a broken heart be your defeat. Somehow, some way, you must find a way to continue enjoying life. My recommendation for this is to make the best out of your situation you're dealing with. I promise you, if you look for the pauses in life, you will go far. I want to say an enormous thank you to every teacher, coach, and counselor I have had in my years as a Pigeon Forge Tiger. You guys have given me a gift that can never be taken away, my education. I also would like to thank my family for always supporting me. I specifically want to thank my parents, little brother, mom and dad for being there for me when it felt like the world was against me. I also want to thank God for his love and his saving grace. I would not be here today without the good Lord. And lastly, but certainly not least important, I want to thank you, class of 2022. We began our journey together by planting our tomato seeds in our kindergarten cups. Today, we end our journey together by turning our tassels. Although high school was nothing like high school musical, Disney did have it right when Winnie the Pooh said, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Class of 2022, thank you for being one of my hardest goodbyes. And as always, go Tigers. Hello, my name is Maya Palaganis, and I'm absolutely honored to get the chance to speak to you today. Uh, I came into high school four years ago not really knowing what to expect, but as this period of my life is coming to a close, I realize just how far God has brought me. I found the person who I want to be in life, and I can't express enough gratitude to this school for giving me the capacity to be able to do that. I would like to thank my mom, dad, and brother Israel for supporting me in everything I do, setting me up for success, and my mom and dad for just being loving parents. I know it's cliche to say, but I don't know where I would be without you guys. You gave me the motivation to believe in myself and do the things I love most, so thank you for being amazing parents. I also wanna thank my best friends, Ryan, Chrysalyn, Perry, Denny, Mengi, and Jimmy. You guys are my main support team and you helped me through every step of the way. Lastly, I'd like to thank the band, Mr. Lloyd and Miss Sarah, for giving me a community that I could truly call my family. I've been with the Pigeon Forge Band since I was about nine years old, and I can say without a doubt, the best moments in my high school career were all in the band room with the people I love. I grew from a shy freshman into a strong drum major through your support, so thank you band members past and present for loving me through it all. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one lesson I learned in band is to always remember your why, and although it may seem like a simple saying to you, if you take it to your heart, it will take you far. I remember I used to think of myself as only good in band, but God has taken me further than I could have ever imagined and have embraced all of his plans for me with an open heart. I worked hard to be where I am today, but all of my accomplishments, feats, and strengths have come through God. So as we take this next step in all of our lives, I'd like to leave you with my favorite Bible verse. This verse has single-handedly gotten me through so many tough times, so I can only pray the same for any of you. And that is 2 Timothy 1.7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a sound mind. Thank you, and I wish you the best.
Karami Garcia. Entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Danette Michelle Hernandez, Walter State Community College. Zainab Aberkaba, the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, Tennessee Student Assistant Award, UTK Success Academy Award, Tennessee Hope, UTK Orange and White, and UTK Pledge Scholarships. Denilson Enrique Acosta Vivas, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Alex Fernando Aguirre Gonzalez, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Kamaliddin Rustam Akbarov, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Barchanoy Ramiz Kizi Akralova, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise and Senator Scholarships. Basma Safa Hamza Al Satani. East Tennessee State University, Tennessee Hope Scholarship, Tennessee Student Assistance Award and Grants. Zoe Alcantara Amaya, Walter State Community College. Trent Michael Allen, Walter State Community College. Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Benjamin Thomas Archer, East Tennessee State University. Angie Carolina Argueta Mina, Walter State Community College. Akmal S. Arafov, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Riley Nathaniel Ayers, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Connor O'Brien Barnes, Missouri Valley College. Cheyenne Lee Bishop, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Colin Ryan Blaylock, entering the hospitality and tourism industry.
Alex Lynn Bohannon, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Corey Nathaniel Bohannon, East Tennessee State University, Tennessee Hope Scholarship, and then the Harrison Family Scholarships. Johnny Lee Bohannon III, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Alexandra Bonilla, the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, UT Math and Science Upward Bound Bridge Scholarship. Zoe Jillian Brawley, the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, Beacon, UT Pledge, Tennessee Hope Scholarship, Tennessee Student Assistance Award and Grants. Alden Bailey Brewer, Tennessee College of Applied Technology. Noah Phoenix Brown, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Caden Christopher Bull, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Gage Christian Birchfield, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Lisbeth Ramirez Bustamante, Walter State Community College. Edvaldo Harrell Cabrera, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Gustavo Emir Calderon, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Tucker Nello Calfi, Tennessee School of Beauty. Michaela Loretta Kennedy, Pellissippi State Community College. Jordan Isaiah Carney, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Alexandra Rose Carpenter, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Evelyn Daniela Chavaria Gonzalez, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Sierra Alexis Cheever, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Madison Nicole Claybo, East Tennessee State University, James H. Quillen Scholarship, Tennessee Hope Grants and Work Study. Michael Anthony Claybo, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Daniel Patrick Clark, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Ainsley Nicole Crane, East Tennessee State University, Tennessee Hope Scholarship and Grants. Michael Anthony Custodio, United States Army. Amelia Molly Daniels, East Tennessee State University, Tennessee Hope Scholarship.
Aureli de Jesus Javier, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Noah John Kelly Dyer, East Tennessee State University. Bryce Michael Effler, Lincoln Memorial University, Tennessee Hope Scholarship. Azer Giovanni Escobar Gutierrez, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Tristan Ann Faircloth, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Madeline Elizabeth Faith Huber, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Kevin Alexander Fernandez, Lincoln Memorial University. Gustavo Alexander Ferreira Hernandez, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Kylie Christian Fleming, Walter State Community College, Senator's Dual Enrollment Achievement Award and Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Garrett Michael Foreman, University of Arkansas at Little Rock, Dean's Academic Merit Award, Chancellor's Leadership Corps and STEM Mentored Program. Amy Jolien Franklin, Walter State Community College. Riley Jackson Franklin, East Tennessee State University, Tennessee Hope Scholarship. Brianna Ray Freeman. Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Ismari Ulyssa Galeano Gutierrez, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Hunter Jason Gentry, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Cynthia Isabel Gonzalez Duran, Walter State Community College. Colin Joseph Gray, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Carolyn Alyssa Greiner. Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Gabrielle Jose Garda Rivas, Jr., Maryville College. Ronaldo Jose Garda Rivas, Jr., Walter State Community College. Waylon Cole Gunter, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Daniel Alejandro Gutierrez Najera, Walter State Community College. Durinda Serenity Winter Gail Hager, entering the graphic design industry. Landon Berkeley Hall, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. 
Gatlin Foster Hans. Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Kaylee Ann Harden, Sullivan University. Tegan Olivia Henry, Douglas J. Aveda Institute. Hallie Kate Hensley, Lincoln Memorial University, La Crosse Academic, Tennessee Hope and Legacy Scholarships. Holt Brian Hensley, Lincoln Memorial University, LMU Presidential, Tennessee Hope and Legacy Scholarships. Christian Josue Hernandez Rivera, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Chaselyn Austin Herringshaw, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Kimberly Ann Hoffman, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Kennedy Ashlyn Hoffner, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Mariah Faith Holt, Walter State Community College, Senator's Dual Enrollment Award, Tennessee Promise, Presidential and Senator's Scholarship. Elizabeth Michelle Hopkins. The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, Academic Service and Tennessee Hope Scholarships. Trey Russell Howell, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Bryson Lonnie Logan Hurst, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Chloe Esley Husky, Walter State Community College, Senator's Dual Enrollment Achievement Award and Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Colton Wade Husky, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Mason Bud Husky, the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Josai Rashawn Jacobs, Sullivan University. Timothy Dale Jarbo, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Destiny Hope Jones, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Isabella Grace Kelly, Carson Newman University Presidential Scholarship, Eagles Engage, Carson Newman Grant, Carson Newman Promise, and Tennessee Hope Scholarships. Catherine Lee Kelly, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Bryson Grant King, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Stephanie Grace Moore, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Samantha Ann Cooch, Middle Tennessee State University, 
Tennessee Hope Scholarship and Grants. Ayana Faye Lamb, Walter State Community College. Jordan Eli Lane, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Ian Darcy Lanier, Jr., entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Jacob Edward Anthony Lee Cardopoulos, Tennessee College of Applied Technology and Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Cameron Jade Logan, Carson Newman University Faculty Scholar, Tennessee Hope Scholarship, Tennessee Student Assistance Award and Grants. Jacob Daniel Long, Lincoln Tech. Brady Aaron Maples, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Cora Abigail Faith Marinich, East Tennessee State University, James H. Quillen Scholarship, Music Service Award, Work Study Grants, and Tennessee Hope Scholarship. McKenna Ray Morrow, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Anna Marie Martin Ricardo, Walter State Community College. Kyle Evan Matthews, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Seth Daniel Matthews, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. John Aiden McAllister, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Ethan James McCarter, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Hunter Chase Woods McCarter, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Sarah Grace McCarter, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Brandon Davis Lee McKinney, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Johnny Moraz Acosta, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Anna Nicole Metcalf, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Zachary Mitchell Metcalf, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Lebo Garrett Murray, Walter State Community College. Mabry Florida Lee Navarro Ruiz, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Chrysalyn Tori Vanette Newman. Lee University. Seth Thomas Norton, entering the hospitality and tourism industry.
Andrew Norman Ahmed Swenson. Walter State Community College. Joshua Rubio Ortiz. Cadence Angelita Osborne. Entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Nicole Alejandra Pacheco, Walter State Community College. Maya Antonio Palaganis, Lee University. Dennis Connor Parrott, Los Angeles Film School. Joshua Andrew Parton, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Logan Tyler Parton, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Tyler Reed Parton, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Dia Darmendra Patel, the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, Tennessee Hope Scholarship. Sarah Kathleen Rose Paxton, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Joseph Guyvin Perez Santiago, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Rylan Nicole Phillips, Law Enforcement Academy. Axel Daniel Puerto Galindo, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Ada Naomi Ramirez, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Stephen Paul Rees, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Jose Giselle Reyes, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Victoria Guadalupe Reyes Campos, Walter State Community College. William Tanner Robinson, Entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Arnold Javier Rodriguez Deris. Entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Jose David Romero Antonez. Entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Jason Eli Ruiz Herrera. Entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Noah Douglas Sams. Entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Miguel Angel Sanchez Ortega. Walter State Community College. Anthony Dale Sexton. Nicholas Anthony Shaw, Johnson University.
Mason Matthew Schultz. Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Madison Nicole Smith. Maryville College, Dean Scholarship, Bonner Scholarship, Tennessee Student Assistance Award, Tennessee Hope and Grants. Bruce Joseph Stewart. Entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Perry Nicole Sullivan, Fort Lewis College. Abigail Marie Sutton, Tennessee School of Beauty, TSB Most Outstanding Student Scholarship. Trista Rain Sutton, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Kahneman Ontario Thomas, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Colby Owen Trotter, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Sola Mali Tercios, Walter State Community College. Derek Blair Van Hoy, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Lorenzo Alberto Vasquez Flores, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Kilmer Yexel Velasquez Benegas, entering the hospitality and tourism industry. Brian Geraldo Villarreal, East Tennessee State University. Kimberly Alice Elizabeth Wagner, Maryville College, Scott's Legacy, Tennessee Hope Scholarship, Tennessee Student Assistance Award and Grants. Kylie Renee Wallen, Sullivan University. Chloe Elizabeth Watts, Douglas J. Aveda Institute. Kirsten Chantel Weaver, Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Tennessee Promise Scholarship. Dakota Tobias Wenzel, entering the photography industry. Peyton Leanne Whaley, East Tennessee State University, Tennessee Hope Scholarship. Andrew Tyler Wheeler, Sullivan University. Joseph Whitaker, the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, UT Promise, Tennessee Connect, and Tennessee Hope Scholarships. Jacqueline Angelina White, John A. Gupton College. Colin Michael Wietek, Walter State Community College, Tennessee Promise and Senator Scholarship. Emily Elizabeth Wood. Walter State Community College, Senator's Dual Enrollment Achievement Award and Tennessee Promise Scholarship.
I'd like to offer a few thank yous. Uh, first off, to our director of schools for this year, Dr. Jack Parton and Miss Stephanie Husky, to the Sevier County Board of Education, especially to our school board member, Mr. John McClure, who is always supportive of our school and our students. Also, would like to thank the city of Pigeon Forge, city manager, Erlene Teaster, our mayor, David Ware, the Pigeon Forge City Council. I'd also like to thank the staff of the LeConte Center, what a beautiful venue to graduate high school. I know everyone was disappointed this evening that we were not all out on a football field with the weather being so terrific today. But I'd like to thank Phil Campbell, Tara Cooper, and all the staff here at the LeConte Center. I'd like to thank Streamline Productions for sound and audio. I'd also like to thank our faculty and staff at Pigeon Forge High School. You know, I'm blessed to work each and every day with a terrific group of people. Um, particularly, I want to recognize uh, two gentlemen that I know these seniors appreciate a great deal, and that's the two hardest working guidance counselors in the state of Tennessee, Mr. Eric Bohannon and Mr. John Griffiths. I want to recognize just a, a few groups of students here. Once again, any student who is entering the military, I would ask you to stand again and let us recognize you. I think Michael, I know you were, and we had a couple more. Derek, let's recognize these young people. I would also like to recognize Miss Isabella Kelly. She graduated from Walter State the other day with her associate's degree. She is the second student in the history of Pigeon Forge High School to accomplish that. So Isabella, please stand and let us give you a round of applause. Finally, we are missing another group of students, seniors that would be with us tonight, and that's members of our Pigeon Forge High School baseball team who, uh, who won their sectional game Friday night 10 to nothing in five innings because they wanted to get their principal home just a little bit sooner on a Friday night, and those gentlemen are not with us tonight. Uh, they will be playing in the first round of the state tournament tomorrow night at 4 o'clock Central Standard Time against White House Hermitage at Stewart's Creek in Murfreesboro. Uh, go Tigers. After this ceremony concludes, graduates, you're going to walk back to the Greenbrier Room. We have your diplomas as long as you don't have any outstanding things that we need to take care of. So please make it a point to get your diploma before we leave. Uh, there is another graduation after this ceremony, so please help us in uh, getting out promptly. And also, let's not leave any trash or anything like that in this outstanding facility. Uh, parents, you know, the last... The last four years have passed very quickly, and I know for you especially, and it has passed quickly for these students. It's been an absolute privilege uh, for us at Pigeon Forge High School to work with this group of uh, fine young men and women. And graduates, I would only offer you this advice as you go out into the world. Always be kind, do your best every day, and never be afraid to ask for help. At this time, I would ask that graduates please stand. Class of 2022, you may change tassels. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with tremendous pride as principal of Pigeon Forge High School, I present to you the graduating class of 2022. Go Tigers! That concludes our ceremony. <laughs>